Okay, 4K 120 on the Panasonic GH6. That was kind of fun. One in a million. One in a million. This is the setup I used right here. Panasonic GH6, no top handle, no side handle, no gimbal. Everything was handheld. I used the small rig black mamba cage for the Panasonic GH6, which is actually a really great cage. It fits it super snug and is really compact, but it gives it a nice feel to it. I also use the Leica 10 to 25 F1.7. And I think on some of those shots, you can really see that depth of field with this lens. This is a pretty versatile lens, that 10 to 25. It's pretty good range. I actually kind of like it. And then this VND filter, which is really all I had for this whole shoot. Now this talking head part, I'm actually shooting in full auto settings on a mystery camera. Let me know what you think the camera is down in the comments. But I'm on auto ISO. I'm on auto focus. I'm on auto white balance. And... I'm using a window to light myself. So this video might be all over the place. And if that's the case, my apologies, but I wanted to test out the full auto settings on this mystery camera. So you let me know what you think it is down in the comments. All right, so let's just go through this little 4K 120 montage or segment or sequence, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm just gonna do some commentary over top of it on some of my thoughts about 4K 120 on the Lumix GH6. All right, here's really everything you need to know about how I shot it. 4K 120, GH6, 10 to 25, F1.7. I used Vlog to shoot this video and I actually got it to Rec. 709 with the Leaming LUT and then used my Cinematic Fade 5 LUT, which is available in my store down in the description. You can find it. I used that to color grade. And I just wanna say thanks to my friend Jonah, who is a trooper. And he actually used the GH6 10 to 25 in this video. So he's actually holding his GH6 in this video. I'm using the same exact setup that he's holding to shoot this video. But you know, everything was so brown. We're having like such a slow spring. Things are not turning green very fast. And where I live, we've had like 120,000 mile an hour winds. And this was like one of the first nice days that we've actually had, but everything was brown, it's kind of uninspiring. But Jonah was a trooper. Thanks, Jonah, I appreciate it. Now, some of these things in this video, some of the themes that you're gonna see is just the Ibis is amazing, especially at 120. Now, these are like gimbal style shots. Like I was not using the gimbal at all. Like I said, I was just handheld with just a cage, no handles or anything. And these are super smooth shots that I honestly like gimbal killer right here. Like this one, I'm walking sideways alongside Jonas. He's walking forward. I'm walking sideways and there's hardly any bounce in that image. Like you really don't even have that gimbal bounce as you're walking. It's a pretty steady shot. Now this shot, next shot coming up, it starts out of focus. Now I was not using autofocus at all. I will probably do a 4K 120 autofocus test, but this one where he is just standing there, looks up at this camera, and then once I hit that focal point, the shot is just so clear. Like this 4K 120 is just such a clean image. And it's perfect if you deliver in 1080 to a client or wherever you might be, like social media or something like that, you can actually you know, be able to punch in with this 4K 120, which then, then it gives you that in-out movement as well. So look at these spin shots like this. Like that is, that's gimbal quality right there. And you're able to get so close and get that nice blurry background with that Leica 10 to 25. Now this one I was walking backwards. So this one is just a little bit bouncier, but even with this, that movement, it's like a very, very stable, steady movement. There's another shot with the blurry background, just some, you know, setting type shots and then another kind of like circular motion, which is just really steady. And I'm so happy with that Ibis. I think that the Ibis on here is absolutely outstanding in 4K 120. I have noticed in some other settings, maybe like 24 frames, even 60 a little bit, you have just a little bit of bounce in that image, but it is clean on the 4K 120. It kind of reminds me of using the HD 120 on the GH5 and how great the IBIS is in that setting with the variable frame rate. All 
I'm not going to lie, you know, 4K 120 was definitely something I was looking forward to on the GH6, and I mean, it did not disappoint at all. I really don't shoot 120 as much as I used to, especially on the GH5, that HD 120. I mean, that was fantastic to use, and I really thought that the IBIS was just absolutely amazing in HD 120. But now that you have the 4K 120 on the Lumix GH6, I mean, really, that's just icing on the cake. And I think that is one of the most fun features, one of the most funnest features, one of the most fun features on the Lumix GH6. I thought the IBIS was outstanding during that shoot. I was like walking, I was walking sideways. I was walking backwards on some of those shots. And I mean, it really held pretty steady. So the 4K 120 on the Lumix GH6, I think is a winner for me. That's a winner winning situation. And I highly recommend giving it a shot if you end up getting the GH6, which I have an affiliate link down in the description, which totally helps support this channel. So if you have any thoughts on the 4K 120 on the Lumix GH6, let me know down in the comments. Again, remember I'm using all auto stuff for this talking head right here on a mystery camera. Let me know what you think that mystery camera might be down in the comments. Well, that's really all I have for this video. If you have time, it'd be awesome if you stuck around, maybe watch one of these videos that's popping up on your screen right here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.